Um, for worst taste in music, that's a tough one. There's actually not a lot of people with good taste in music in, in our team. Uh, definitely John McCain. I don't know if it's his influence from his kids or his wife, but um, yeah, he, he, I don't think he actually has taste, to be honest with you. So yeah, it's a bit, a bit frightening. I'd have to say the Spanish boys, just because they always play their Spanish music and um, yeah, they love it, they put it loud and uh, no one else knows what's going on. Definitely Nigel Bogart. <laughs> Tough one to say, but probably Golek, because it's just some, some hard creation stuff that I don't really do get to, be honest. Bogues. I don't know how to describe it, I don't know what it is. Metallica, heavy metal. You know those ones, they just scream, they don't even sing. Uh, probably Bruce. I'm joking, he's just there, so that's why I said Bruce. Um, although he does try a lot uh, and takes a bit of pride in his appearance, I'd have to say Anthony Golick. Um, what he wore to lunch yesterday was, was, was borderline embarrassing. Definitely Anthony Golick. I mean, I know his mum still does a bit of shopping for him and that, but seriously, I, I don't know what to say. Lost for words. I'm going to have to say Golick again because he wears these 70s track pants and he's got them in every colour. Je jeans, jeans with a singlet probably wasn't the best look when we were out for lunch for a team lunch together to, to say goodbye to a, a staff member. So yeah, he's probably just want to get dressed with the lights on uh, in the future. Um, best voice at the club would definitely be Terry Kelridge. Best singing voice. I um, haven't heard many of the boys sing, um, but just from hearing players on the pitch, I think uh, Johnny McCain. I think he'll be uh, pretty good, especially with his long hair. I think he'll be good in a in a rock band. Best singing voice, probably Cass. We usually when we win, we got this uh, ritual. They always play this Brazilian song, and Cass is the one leading the charge. Best singing voice, probably say. Although you probably wouldn't like to admit this, Ozzy, Osama Malik. If he, uh, if if you ever hear him, he can hold a tune. Uh, it's quite impressive, actually. He sang a genuine uh, pony, uh, big song back in the day. I'm not going to repeat any of the lyrics and that, but I'm sure a lot of viewers know, know the song and just pictured Tariq Elridge standing on a chair singing it. It was uh, surprising actually, I didn't know he had such a nice voice. The coach has a good one about uh, taking penalties and if you miss it's, it's, it's $50, uh, then it's more or less double or triple or nothing, so you, you have the chance to go again. Geronimo one day got up to about $500 or nothing. And uh, that was high pressure penalty. Uh, you could you could see it in his in his eyes in his face, but he ended up scoring. But um, yeah, that's definitely one of the more interesting and more fun sort of finds. And with the fine money, we go out to lunch. And to be honest, it's been quite successful. We we tend to raise five to six hundred dollars every every penalty shootout. We've got Eugene Galekovic in goal, so it's, it's an easy money maker.